Reese, these fossils are so cool. Where are they from? It's a secret. You can't tell anybody. Join us today as we go to Rock Glen and go fossil hunting. Hannah? What? They're supposed to know where we're going. Rock Glen Conservation Area is located in Arcona, Ontario. Before hiking down the Glen, make sure to stop into the Arcona Lions Museum where you can find artifacts along with an extensive fossil collection. Within the museum is a fluorescent light display which showcases beautiful minerals fluorescing under ultraviolet light. Fluorescence can be used as a prospecting technique to find certain mineral deposits. Rock Glen is actually a transitional zone between the Carolinian Forest Zone and the Great Lakes St. Lawrence Zone. There is abundant biodiversity of species found in both zones. Rock Glen is a popular place for fossil hunting and taking a quick dip. The Upper Falls contains the Witter Formation. The 10.7 meter high waterfall was once home to a small grist mill. The Lower Falls contains a thin section of Hungry Hollow above a large section of Arcona. Let's swing by the lab to look at these formations in detail. Welcome back to the library. What we have here is a core laid out with the Hungry Hollow, Witter, and Arcona formations. This core is referenced in Special Volume 7. This book is a fantastic resource for anything to do with paleostratigraphy of Southern Ontario. If you would like a copy, the link will be provided in the description. The Witter Formation starts here, about 45 meters below the surface. Gray to brown gray shale and bioturbated beds are visible. Fossils include brachiopods, crinoidal fragments, and other shells. You can see an example of a bioturbated bed with remnants of the burrows located here. Look at these small little pyrite nodules found in the Witter Formation. This looks like a bivalve shell. There's the pedicle valve. The contact between Witter and Hungry Hollow Formation can be seen here at an approximate depth of 53 meters. You can see the change between the shale and the limestone. In this core, Hungry Hollow is very thin at approximately 0 0.90 meters. It is characterized by a light gray crinoidal limestone and the contact is sharp with the limestone over the soft shale. In this core, the Arcona formation is between 53 meters to 91 meters in depth. Arcona is a lot of shale. Fossiliferous shale with minor limestone beds, and you can see the formation is very crumbly and it's very difficult to preserve in boxes. Limestone, shale. I'll spray this bioturbated bed to see what it looks like. As you can see, the water has accentuated the features of the bioturbated beds and the fossils. Here are some brachiopod shells that I found within the Arcona Shale. Now that we've taken a closer look at the formations, let's go back to Rock Glen to see what fossils we can find. The fossils of Rock Glen were hidden until about 10,000 years ago, when an earthquake caused a portion of the bedrock to drop, creating a gorge and unearthing the rich and wonderful fossil deposits. The gorge has exposed locations to collect fossils on the flanks of the river. Remember to be respectful of the area and don't dig deep for the fossils. There are plenty at the surface. Well, two different species of brachiopods. They're completely different. You usually find those uh, broken into pieces brachiopods, but yeah. these are completely The find of the day was a curled up trilobite. 
Look at how cute he is. Rock Glen is a wonderful area where you can go pack a picnic and spend the day out in nature and collecting fossils. But remember the rules of the conservation area and only keep one, putting the rest back to sleep. Grace, I'm so happy that I have a very long breakfast pot fossil from Rockland tagged to my collection. Oh, that's so cool. If you give me a second, I can set up the stage and we can take a really cool photo of it. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe and let us know where you like to hunt for your fossils. Geology, Geology Gals out. Bye.